Well, happy Tuesday. For the most part, we were dry on Monday. Not too bad. A little bit of sunshine mixing in out there. A little on the chilly side, and then wind started to pick up in the afternoon. Some clouds started to roll in, and then the front came on through. Right about midnight or so, we saw plenty of rainfall for the Rogue Valley that started a little earlier out on the coast, and it's still moving through as we go throughout the morning today. Behind this front, we have another system after another system after another system. So it's going to be a very active week ahead as we get into Wednesday, take a little bit of a break and we'll see things start to cool down. Thursday, more rain on the way. Friday, a little bit of breaks. Saturday, more rain on the way. So it's just one system after another with little breaks in between. So some sunshine mixing in with all of the rain that we see out there, but with the colder air that we're seeing with the low pressure finally tapping into some air a little further to the north of us, we're going to see more potential for snow levels to start to drop as we head towards about Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. For the time being, those snow levels actually rather high to start out the day. So as we zoom in, you can see just over the last six hours or so, most of this coming down as rain. The Cascades here, you got to go up to Crater Lake and above to find anything coming down as snow. Just zooming in a little bit more. Mount Ashland seeing a little bit of snow, but everything below that, which is pretty much everything in Jackson County, coming down as rain. Some of that rain a little bit on the heavier side, so there's some concern for eh, its potential for flash flooding. No watches or warnings out right now. We do have some loose soil out there in certain areas that may have dealt with recent fires. Otherwise, a little bit on the breezy side as well. Nothing too unusual, but Siskiyou County, parts of Klamath Lake, and out on the coast, also seeing the potential for some higher winds, some gusts up to around 55 miles per hour possible. So let's go through the day with our pinpoint forecast. This is as we start the morning, most of the rainfall out on the coast, the heaviest rainfall, a little more dry in some of the valleys because of downsloping winds. Those winds tend to dry things out just a bit. So we'll say more showers as we head into the afternoon. As we look at areas like the Rogue Valley, let's go a little bit later into the day and you can see by about 7 p.m. or so starting to cool down the mountains just a bit. Some more snow potential up there. There. But for the most part, we are staying on the showery side of things for most populated areas. Going to Wednesday and outside of a chance of a few scattered showers here or there, you can see areas like Medford, a little bit cold, colder air, so you do have some potential for snow over the Siskiyous and the Cascades, but not a great chance. And scattered showers just about everywhere else, nothing really all that heavy. Head into Thursday, next system starts to move in. You actually have a better chance of rain in Northern California than you do further to the north as this next system approaches from the south of us. Could see more rain for areas like like Brookings, Crescent City, and Mount Shasta than you would further to the north, but Thursday will bring us more rain. Checking out the coast today, rain, and that rain could be heavy at times, but a lot of that was just after midnight or so with your high winds out of the south, 25 to 35 miles per hour, getting a little gusty this afternoon, slightly cooler temperature-wise as we look at the afternoon. Checking out the West Valley's temperatures, mainly getting into the 50s as we go throughout the day today. Some areas a little bit cooler, 46 for Mount Shasta, for example. Shasta Valley itself getting rather gusty, 25 to 35 mile per hour winds, with rain eventually turning to showers. So it does lighten up as we get into the afternoon just a bit. And east of the Cascades, it's cool, but it's not cold enough to see widespread snow. Some areas like Chimult seeing rain and snow showers at times, mostly cloudy later tonight with scattered showers. Got to go to above 6,000 feet to really find anything coming down snow above 7,000 feet to really see it stick around. Checking out the seven day forecast, you can see our potential for rain really continues. Best next chance after today is probably going to be Thursday, then more showers lingering into Friday and Saturday. All of these lows though, we do cool down quite a bit as we head into Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Your low, your high temperatures as well dropping as we go into the weekend. Klamath Basin, that's when we start to see some potential for rain and snow showers Friday and Saturday, Saturday possibly into Sunday, looking like we do start to dry out Sunday into Monday though. Mount Shasta, Northern California, a little further to the south. You actually have a pretty decent chance of rain as we go into Thursday and then more of a chance of rain and snow as we get into Friday and into Saturday. And for the coast, rain will continue over the next few days, sometimes turning more to lighter showers and then again, heavier rainfall for Thursday and more chances of showers on Friday and Saturday.